Hello internet and welcome back to the story nook. Go ahead and grab your tea, your coffee, your water, whatever it is. Curl up and we're gonna read this story. And today's story is posted in r slash nuclear revenge. I'm not sure if I've read a nuclear revenge one on the channel yet. I just, my brain just can't quite recall. But this one is posted by user, I'm just going to make this a little bit bigger because I'm outside and it's actually bright today. This is posted by user Freilium and it's got a tag called sorry not sorry and just heads up this is nuclear revenge. There's going to be a lot of stuff that's probably messed up. I don't know if I've read this one previously by myself or not, but we're going to find out. But it's titled, She Killed My Dad, So I Robbed Her House and Left a Surprise in Her Kitchen. And so yeah, we're going to just go ahead and start. Edited, guys, I know you don't think this should go here, but every revenge group besides this one has a rule against confessing felonies. The statute of limitations in my state protects me from getting prosecuted, and I would also like to say, as silly as it may sound, this is a very real thing that happened to me, and I am willing to provide as much context as you all would like, but please don't call me a liar, Lamo. This shit really fucked me up as a kid, and I'm not here to see if y'all believe me, I'm just sharing my story. Honestly, I wasn't aware that felonies have statutes of limitations. But then again, who knows? There are certain crimes, they have a statute of limitation that's kind of fucked up. Context to start. I, 18 female, lost my dad when I was 15. He met his wife when I was 3 and got really sick afterwards because of complications due to diabetes, which in turn cost him his eyesight, a kidney, and his toes all before I was out of kindergarten. Oh shit. Given a year to live, my dad bet beat the odds and actually got so much better for me, but he needs so much help from her to live. With that being said, she quit her job and started collecting a check to take care of him, and the second that money hit is when the abuse started. Hmm. I've seen these before. I watch enough true crime. From the jump, that bitch was weird. She made me call her mommy, got my name tattooed, and refused to let me bathe myself until I was almost ten. Red fucking flag, right? How could I have known, though? I still cry myself. I still cry for myself knowing I was a little girl in such a horrible position. She hated my mother, called my half-brothers bastards, and worst of all, she abused my sick and vulnerable father up until his last moments of life. It makes me fucking sick just thinking about it. In my eyes, she killed him, and while it wasn't directly, I want that bitch to riddle me fucking this. If my father was severely handicapped and you're getting paid to take care of him, why did he have bed sores? Why would you let him sit in his own mess if you're getting fucking paid and paid to clean it, bitch? If my father was receiving dialysis through a special pump in his arm, why would you hit it to the point that it had to be removed? If my father is the one laid up in the hospital in fucking pain, why the fuck are you reaching into his mouth for his pills? You crack-headed fat fuck. If the doctor specifically instructed you to keep a clean house and make sure his socks or some sort of shoes are on to prevent open wounds, which would lead to gangrene. Why the fuck did we walk in that bitch and a literal war vet had PTSD flashbacks because of the condition of the fucking house? I should beat the fuck out of you. That infection in his foot led to an amputation, but it wasn't caught fast enough. It had spread and they had to take more to no avail. It got to his blood and he went into septic shock, and after that it spread to his heart and he died. He died next to her, and this is my biggest regret. He didn't die next to someone that truly loved him the way his little girl did. My daddy should be still be here with me. 
Revenge. Well, I can never avenge my father. I sure did make that bitch hurt. The day he passed, we had set up a date and time where I could go to their house and get some of his things, and she stood me up. I knew then and there that if I didn't rob this bitch right here and now, I would never have anything of my father's. So I did what had to be done. Everyone who came with me for support had accepted defeat and was getting in their cars to leave when I opened the front door. They told me I looked just like him standing in the doorway with the biggest grin on my face. I got in through a window seven and a half feet off the ground, a determined and heartbroken girl, and I robbed that bitch. Everything I could think of I grabbed and still have to this fucking day because I'll be goddamned. The best, edit slash worst, part of all of this is when I went to the bedroom and tore everything apart, grabbing all significant items, and I stumbled upon a locked drawer. No lock drawer has ever stopped me, but I did. I, but I wish this one did. Pry it open to see the largest, no pun intended, dildo collection I'd ever seen in my life. Horror is what most people would feel, but I felt nothing but pure, pure rage, and I took every last goddamn sex toy out of the drawer and propped them up right on the kitchen floor with a note calling her a fat cunt. She suspected I did it and got nothing important of his. I didn't get caught, and I don't regret it. The end. Additional edit. Some people don't see this as a revenge, but I promise you, walking into a seance circles of dildos and finding out she got robbed did the correct amount of damage I wanted it to. She abused my dad, and I hit a lick on that hoe. Mic drop. So this one. One, the stepmom, obviously horrible horrible the the vows are until death do us part not until you get sick of it otherwise divorce if you are able to take care of a sick of one but you're getting paid to you should pay to have someone else do that send him somewhere where he'll be better cared for and I feel really bad for OP, but I do think making a seance circles of dildos in the kitchen was fucking hilarious. And I'm glad they at least got what they could of their fathers, those important sentimental items at the very least, and made sure that uh, the wife who didn't really seem to care about their husband did not. Because on a lot of true crime shows, it would take years, decades for them to prove that she purposely neglected him. Because there have been cases like that where women have purposely neglected, abused their sick, dying husbands to get rid of them faster. And it's not until about husband two or three that they're able to really prove it. Just saying. Where's Don Lewis, you know? But yeah, that it concludes today's tale of do 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 nuclear revenge. Thank you all for being here. Uh have a good day. Comment below letting me know what other kinds of stories you want me to read in the future. And yeah. Bye bye.